Yeah! Don't wear it. Yeah. Oh my god! Oh no! <laughs> no way! It's <laughs> Ah, yes, right. You can smell the gunpowder, and that means only one thing, Sanko Anabi, the gentle Japanese firework. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm, I'm going to encourage you to check out the video from last year where we talked a little bit more about how we created these things and a little bit more about the gunpowder mixture. What we've been focusing on this year is a little bit more about some wrapping techniques, which we'll show you, and then maybe even some different kinds of paper to use. Now, what we're not going to do today is burn Sanko Hanabi. We're going to burn them in video two. And so I'll talk a little bit more about what I think works and doesn't work about some of them. But let's talk a little bit more just about wrapping and uh, building a good Sanko Hanabi in this video. Okay, so here we have some of the stuff from the competition this year. I've got some tissue paper uh, that the winners use, so that's going to be some good luck right there. Um, I've got some party streamers, uh, and again, I owe this to my students. Uh, they, they did some research, and they found some people say by using party streamers, uh, you might have a bit of an advantage because they are treated with flame retardant, and so they don't burn as well, which sounds counterintuitive, but if your tissue paper doesn't flare up, uh, then you have a better chance of forming a dross ball. So we'll try out some with this. And then here's where I'm really taking a chance. This is just uh, a lot of the leftover gunpowder from all the students. Uh, so again, I'm not that concerned about the mixture. Uh, I'm more concerned about the tissue paper. So I'm just going to dump this all uh, in a mortar and pestle. And I'm going to I'm going to grind it up a little bit and make a nice fine powder. And let's and let's see what we get. Okay, so I've made a couple Sankos back here. Probably this is the best or one of these. That's probably the worst. Um, but it's a lot tougher to wrap it without a toothpick, I found. Uh, you still want to put a trough in it, like we talked about before. Uh, and so I'm going to try to... I, I put just a little bit of gunpowder, not much. You don't want to overdo it. Uh, there's a couple ways to wrap this. I'm just going to start at the end and then start twisting. And then... And then you can kind of kind of go wherever you want and then just start joining in. You're gonna lose a little gunpowder. I like to again let it slide between my fingers just to get a wrap there, just to get started. And once you have your basic wrap, you can go back and sort of tighten it up. Again, you don't want to tighten it so much that you rip the tissue paper. Now I've I've often thought about wetting these. And you know, just, and, and then letting them dry, and maybe you get a tighter wrap that way. But I haven't tried that yet. I have a drying oven, but it just hasn't happened yet. So here we go. So that's that's a, that's not bad. That's not a bad Senko. So here again, here's a streamer. Again, I just cut it. I'm just going to wrap it up as is. Well, you could obviously adjust the width if you wanted to. I'm going to put a little bit more gunpowder in, only because this stuff's harder to burn. I'll try to get a little bit more towards the edge also. So anyway, we'll check this out. So again, same technique. I'm just gonna kind of let it go through my fingers here. I'm gonna twist, twist, and twist, twist, and twist. And then maybe go back the other way. Twist, and twist, and twist. Try not to break the streamer. Although the streamers are a little tougher than the paper towel. I mean, up the tissue paper. So, ah, uh, ah, uh, yeah. One final thing I want to point out is I'm not using toothpicks in any of these. Forget it, toothpicks. We don't need you anymore. I think a good Senko Anabi probably doesn't need toothpick. If you look at the professional videos and stuff, they don't use them, so I'm not going to use them in any of these. So let's see. Now I said I wasn't going to burn any Senko Anabis in this video, but I, I feel like I'm allowed to burn the leftovers. So enjoy this little funeral pyre of failed Senko Anabis here. It's a little bit of slow-mo for you. If you like this slow-mo, I am working on two uh, long-form videos 
where I try to do some detailed work of some Senkos burning. So I'm working on those. But if you liked part one, tune in to part two, it's posted. And you can see us burn some of the Senkos and I'll give you a little bit of feedback on how I thought they worked. Um, and keep an eye out for those long form if you want some hypnotic slow-mo 240 frame per second Senko burns, check them out. Hey, if you've enjoyed what you've seen here, uh, please like and subscribe. It really does help. I'd like to see this channel grow over the next year. Um, but even if, uh, even if you're just visiting, uh, we appreciate the views. So thanks for watching and have a great day. And I'll see you in part two.